Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose by SNCB. Today, let's welcome Dr. Irene Lee, consultant dermatologist here at SNCB, who will be speaking on hand washing and contact dermatitis. So, um, Dr. Irene, what is contact dermatitis? Right. Contact dermatitis are dermatitis, or it means uh, inflammation of the skin due to contact. So, there are two main types of contact dermatitis. Either the dermatitis is due to allergy, so we call it allergy contact dermatitis, or it is because of the irritation of the contact, which we call it irritant contact dermatitis. So, both will result in red, scaly, itchy uh, skin rash over the area of contact. But allergy probably will be mainly due to the allergens in the contact uh, substance, for example, detergent, sanitizer, etc. Whereas the irritation is because of the uh, concentration or the exposure to that certain particular um, substance that caused the issue. Mm -hmm. So during this period, um, of course, the um, MOH requires um, advises us to wash our hands frequently. So, do you think that affects um, this condition? Yes, definitely. So, but it doesn't mean that you should just avoid hand washing altogether. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, there are two situations here. Either one, if you have never had any uh, contact dermatitis before, and because of this frequent uh, hand washing, you develop it. Or you already have contact dermatitis, and because of this condition and the frequent hand washing, you uh, have flare up of the contact dermatitis. Because in this condition, whereby uh, COVID nineteen is so prevalent in our uh, country and in, in fact uh, worldwide, so we are always advised to wash our hand, either hand washing with soap and water, or using sanitizer. So both. The detergent and the sanitizer contains allergen, which may be an allergic substance to certain people, but may be okay for other people. In fact, if you just wash your hand, no detergent and no sanitizer, you are also more prone for contact dermatitis because the more you wash your hand, the drier your skin will be, and you'll be more prone for irritant contact dermatitis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but however. My advice is of course not, not to wash your hand and uh, not to sanitize your hand. But there are things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting contact dermatitis at this juncture while keeping yourself uh, safe from COVID-19 mm -hmm. by adhering to the hand washing. And also these steps will also prevent you from getting a flare of contact dermatitis if you are already a contact dermatitis patient. So there are a few tips here. First, I would actually prefer soap compared to sanitizer. And if you were to uh, choose a soap, then you have to choose a gentle soap. Mm -hmm. Antiseptic um, anti soaps are actually very irritating to the skin and they can cause a lot of contact in the hands. Gentle soap can also wash your hand well. Wash your, soap, uh, wash your hand with gentle cleanser for about 20 seconds as advised by most of the health institutions with uh, water, and the water should be cold water and not something that is hot and cold. Right. But the important thing is that right after washing, you should always, always moisturize your hand. If you are prone for contact dermatitis, or you already have contact dermatitis. The main issue is, the more you wash your hand, your skin will get dry and white. So, if you moisturize your skin well, then you eliminate the problem of dry skin. Mm -hmm. So, you're your risk of irritation will be less. Second, if you are allergic to certain detergents, these allergens are usually uh, in wash that are not categorized as gentle wash. So if you use a gentle wash, then you can avoid contact with all these allergens in other types of hand detergent mm -hmm. and sanitizer as well. So gentle wash, uh, cold water, frequent wash is okay but moisturize. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, right after washing, you moisturize, your skin may still be dry. And if so, you have to pop up the moisturizer every time it gets dry. So it doesn't mean that one wash, one moisturizer, that may be enough. That may be enough for most people, but may not be enough for people who have very, very, very extremely dry skin. Mm -hmm. Next will be the choice of moisturizer. There are many types of moisturizer in the market. It can be a lotion base, a cream base, or an ointment base. So again, it depends on your skin condition. 
Your skin is very dry in nature, a lotion may not be a good choice because a lotion may stay on your skin for only at the most one to two hours. So unless you moisturize your skin every one to two hours, then probably you may not be enough. So usually in uh, problematic skin, we will advise at least a cream base because cream can stay on the skin for about four to six hours. So it may last you longer. Deep ointment base, you may stay up to six to eight hours, but because it's very oily, you know, people may not tolerate it. Well. So apply, it dries up again, reapply. That's the most important. Okay, um, how about um, the type of hand sanitizer that a person should use? Yeah, it really again one uh, depends on individual. Because all sanitizer they have different different constituents, the ingredients are different. And uh, each individual may be allergic to certain uh, ingredients, it may not be all. What one patient is allergic to may differ from another person. So first of all, if you do not know which ingredient you are allergic to, then again, general cleanser, that will be the best choice. If you know from patch test for example, because we do have patch test to actually identify what is the exact allergen that you are allergic to, if you have the test result, then you have to hunt for hand sanitizer that does not have that particular allergen. Then that sanitizer will be good to be used. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we covered um, all the hand washing tips from Dr. Irene. Thank you so much. And that's all today for your daily dose with SNCV. Stay tuned tomorrow. Same place, same time, and different doctors. Thank you. Thank you, and stay safe.